Hello family. Today our topic is 7 signs that you are not emotionally connected to your partner. We've got a special package for those who watch till the end of this video. Welcome to Papa's Palace. The place where we come to get better. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and share to get more amazing contents like this. Number 1. Your discussions are rarely intimate. When discussions with your partner are now always casual and never intimate, then this is a clear sign that something is really wrong with your emotional ties. Good communication is a very vital part of every relationship. No relationship can be successful without regular, sound and intimate discussions. This is virtually what separates couples from the rest of the world. Couples connects at a deeper level and of course discusses intimately, in special ways every single day. So the moment you stop having intimate discussions in your relationship, trust me the relationship begins to deteriorate rapidly. This has been the case 90% of the time. Number 2. You struggle to enjoy your time together. This is another clear sign that you are not emotionally connected to your partner. True love can't be forced or imposed. Where there is love, it flows freely and naturally, you don't have to struggle to love or feel love. So if you have to struggle or work hard in order to enjoy time together with your spouse, this is not natural. When the love is deep, both partners enjoy their time together and in fact, cherish every moment they spend together. When you are truly in love with someone, everything they do excites you, there is never a dull moment together for true lovers. So family. If somehow you find yourself in a relationship where you struggle to enjoy your time together, then there is a problem. To say it in plain words the connection is just not there. You've got to reevaluate the whole thing. Number 3. You are made to think you aren't good enough for them. Never choose to stay in a relationship where you are treated like an option or second choice. It's not love when your spouse somehow makes you feel like you are not enough or inferior. It is total manipulation and if you find yourself in such situation, please do take the right decision as soon as you can. You deserve the best. You deserve to be truly loved, cherished and adored. Do not let anyone get you to believe that they are better than you in any way. Either by social status, academic qualifications, family background, fame and others. When it comes to true love, all of these means nothing. A prince from a royal family can marry a commoner from an average background but would treat and worship her like a queen and would not let her feel less in any way love covers all social status and whatever love covers it all so family choose wisely do not accept to be treated like an option never number four you turn to family and friends for emotional support Whenever there is a challenge in any aspect of our lives as humans most times we need someone to share the burden with. Someone to ask how to go about it. So if you are in a relationship, but you find out that any time you encounter an issue, you share them first with your family and friends before remembering your spouse. Then there is a problem. The human brain is wired in such a way that when we face any problem or challenge, we tend to share it first with our dearest ones. So if you don't share your problems with your spouse first, it simply means that he or she is not your dearest one and this is a fact. If your spouse is truly your dearest, they would be the first person that comes to mind whenever you have a need, even when you are miles apart. Number 5. You don't trust them. This is quite ridiculous, come to think of it. How can you be sharing your life with someone you don't trust? It simply doesn't add up. True love is accompanied with total trust. Being suspicious of your spouse really shows that your relationship is quite unhealthy. In a perfect union there should be total trust from both partners at all times and in all things. In most relationships today, you find couples peeping on each other's phones, sneaking into their mailbox to read mails and so many other unhealthy practices. This is not love. Pure love comes with total trust. So family before you jump into any relationship, please make sure you can trust your proposed partner completely, do not risk spending, even a day of your precious life with someone you can't trust, this is not a wise thing to do. Number 6. You disagree in almost every perspective of life. 
It's so much work for two people who do not agree in anything to be in a relationship. It brings about a lot of headaches and crises. But funny enough this is very common in most relationship. For instance Tom likes going on road trips, but his wife Jane prefers to stay indoors and watch movies. Benjamin likes to smoke cigar, but his girlfriend Michelle finds it very irritating. Kennedy likes to go clubbing, but his spouse Teresa considers this very indecent and so many other scenarios. So in a relationship where there are so many disagreements in norms, values, beliefs and the rest, it's usually an endless festival of crises. To save yourself countless headaches it is advisable to study the lifestyle of whoever you intend to date before jumping in. Number 7. You feel much better when you alone. You are not emotionally connected to your partner if you always feel better when you alone much more than when you are together. It's a clear sign and it's either you find spending time with your spouse boring or unfulfilling. And this can't be love. True lovers are never happier alone they miss their partners badly and are always very eager to get back together as soon as possible. Although it's important that once a while you give your partners due space, but when being alone becomes more enjoyable, then there is a fundamental challenge in your compatibility. Being in a relationship should not be living in bondage or struggling to put up with someone you barely want around you. For being with us this far, here is your bonus point. You rarely think of them. One of the sure ways to know that you are in love with someone is thinking about them regularly. This is what brings about the urge to call and text your spouse several times on a daily basis. It's an evidence of the burning flame of love and passion in a relationship. So family when you find yourself in a relationship where you hardly think of your partner and rarely call or send messages then you need an honest re-examination of your emotions. And this brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. We really do appreciate your time. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I will see you in the next video.